it is not necessary to create the actual fluid body as geometry for assembly meshing. We can use virtual bodies to extract the fluid body during the assembly meshing process from a closed set of solid or sheet bodies, or a combination of both, like in this example. The term closed is relative to the local element sizes. As we have seen a few slides back, we can close gaps that are significantly smaller than the local element size. To create such a closed domain, we might need to introduce capping phases in Design Modeler or the CAD system. All that is left to do is to create a material point in ANSYS meshing. That point is a user-defined coordinate system that should be located well within the void of the new fluid body. We have to make sure that it does not touch any face or edge because this will have a negative impact on the meshing procedure. Here we see the necessary steps in more detail. First, we create the coordinate system by right-clicking on the top coordinate system object in the outline. We can just select two points or one curved edge or one wetted curved face to be sure that the new coordinate system is valid. Next, we right-click the geometry object in the outline to create the virtual body. Then we select the user-defined coordinate system from the drop-down menu in the details of the selected virtual body. We can create more than one virtual body. Of course, we need multiple coordinate systems and the different regions have to be separated by face or solid bodies. For external aerodynamics, we need an additional fluid or solid body that defines the boundary of the fluid domain. We can define a coordinate system within that region to define the virtual fluid body. Fluid meshing does not have a solid description. Instead, all cell zones are defined by their boundaries. Therefore, it is no problem to set the location of the coordinate system within the solid body, which later forms the fluid, as long as it is outside of the real solid body, which could be some sort of vehicle or structure. When using virtual bodies, the solid has to be meshed too. If we do not need the solid as cell region in the CFD simulation, we can delete it automatically after the mesh is generated. Of course, we can also choose to disable this solid region only in the solver. 